What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Dave. I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while, but I'm here. I'm alive. I'm doing well. But as you see in the title, I am 100% disabled from the VA. I know, man, it's crazy. That's why I encourage you guys to go to medical. Go to medical as much as you can. Document everything that's wrong with you. I'm not telling you to lie, but if you feel like something's not right, go to medical, get it checked out, get it documented. Make copies of your medical dental record or your alter notes. Keep it filed up, locked up in a safe on a flash drive and keep multiple copies of that. With that being said, I'm 100%. Um, it's a blessing. I give all thanks to God because I never thought I was going to be 100%. I thought it was going to be, I knew it was going to be high, but I thought it was going to be like 80%, 70%. But then I seen 100%. I was like, man, my heart dropped. I thought it was like a, a typo or something. But I'm going to tell you how the process. So the process was simple. Um, I see a lot of people doing their VA claims by themselves. I don't know why, but it's people out there that helps you with the process um they're the vfw the veteran veterans of foreign wars and then the vso i don't remember the name for vso but you can look up these people online in your local area and they're out there to help veterans and service members to file their claim so i was in san diego when i started my claim um i got hooked up with a vfw out there and December 20th, we had our appointment over the phone because it was during COVID. So we did a over the phone appointment. I sent him all my documents, my medical record, dental record, all to notes, and then a lot of personal information. And then he got all that information together and sent it off to the VA. So from December 20th, uh, I think like February, sometime in February, I got a call from the VA. Uh, it was QTC. They called me. They said, hey, we received your VA documents when do you want to set up these appointments um so I had a total of six appointments I had to get done I had to see six different doctors to do go over my VA uh claims uh so from February to April my appointment my appointment was scattered out those three months so I had two in February two appointments in March and then two appointments in April uh my last appointment was April 15th on May 1st, I got my first check from the VA for my dis, uh, disability, um, but I didn't know it was from the VA. I thought it was from school because I also started school May 1st, and I was thinking, man, this, is this money from school? I, it was kind of high, so I called them, and they was like, no, nah, this is your money from the VA, and I asked them. I was like, well, could you tell me my percent? The lady said she couldn't tell me my percent, but she said I could look on uh, VA.gov, and I could also call, and I should be receiving a letter in the mail that will tell me my uh, VA rating, my disability rating. So um, I looked online on VA.gov and I seen it said 100%. I was I was so shocked, man. My heart dropped. I was I was happy because I was like, man, I knew it was gonna be high, but not this high at 100%. So my next question was, what is it 100% permanent in total, or just 100%? Because if you don't know, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, if you got 100%, just 100%, the VA could reevaluate you to do. Uh, to see if you got better some of your symptoms got better and if they have got better they could lower your percent so you can drop from 100 percent to like 90 or you know 80 percent or even lower but if you have 100 percent permanent in total they can't drop your uh percent they can't reevaluate you unless you open up your case and trying to get a higher you know claim more stuff on top of your 100 percent then they can open up your claims and they can possibly drop you or lower your score from there your percent if i'm not but snaking if i'm if you know like how the process works just let me know in comments below but i'm new to this but i've been doing a lot of research but anyway so I'm 100% permanent in total. Um, it's a blessing. And so I did get my first check on May 1st. So so my, I started my VA process. It started in February. May 1st, 
I got my first check. So it only took three months. It would have been a lot sooner than that, but I scattered my appointments out. Um, but I could have had my appointments close together and got that out the way and I would have got my VA rating a lot sooner. But anyway, it took three months and I got back paid. So from February to April, they back paid me. That's why I got a check of $7,000. And I was like, man, where this money come from? And it was from the VA. They said they back paid me for those three months. And, uh, well, I guess it was more like two months. Um, they back paid me for those two months, but every first of the month I get a check from the VA and it's a it's a great amount of money um, It's enough for me to live off of to be real with you guys If you don't have a lot of bills and debt like that you could I could possibly just live off that but uh, Yeah, man, it, it's a blessing So if you're out there and you're about to get out the military I encourage you guys to start your your VA process uh during the window of 180 days to 90 days before you get out it's a lot easier look up vfws and vsos in your area that can help you out with your process and um just stay on top of it go to your appointments don't miss any appointments and uh keep a copy of all your records and paperwork and uh man I hope this video encourage you guys or help you guys out that's going through the process. I know a lot of people say they they process was horrible. They their VA doctors they seen were horrible. They were terrible and they just made it hard for them. But mine's was a different story. My doctors were cool. They helped me out. They even helped me file some stuff I didn't even know I had. So one of the doctors I had, she looked at my foot. She was like, "Man, yo yo bone on your big toe is curving in." She said, "You could file this." I forgot the name of what she said it was but she actually put that in for it she was asking me like man do you have any other things you want to that you could think of that's not on here and I was like you know what I got eczema on my neck and you know what I'm saying some other places and she was like okay I'll write that in so if it wasn't for those two things I probably would never got a hundred percent but um you know what I'm saying so that's why I say everybody's situation is different my doctors was cool they was uh they wasn't VA doctors they was like um civilian doctors so maybe that's why but anyway <clears throat> yeah man just if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below I try to answer every question you guys may have and I wish you guys the best in your journey and stay tuned for more videos I'll I'll keep y'all updated on what's my life after the military and maybe it'll help you guys out uh, your journey as well so thank you again until next time deuces